a striking building on the Mexico City skyline, this hospital tower also has a very unique feature. It eats smog. This facade is coated in a special material, which, when hit by sunlight's UV rays, begins to break down pollutants. Designers say it neutralizes the effects of a thousand cars every day. Although pollution levels have declined, Mexico City is still grappling with being a megalopolis and the intrinsic problems it brings. There are some four and a half million cars registered here, and that number grows by about 200,000 every year. The genesis of the design began some 10,000 kilometers away in Berlin. We were witnessing the rise of smart materials um, and their applicability in architecture. And what we saw was a city full of built structures that were essentially dormant. Using a material called titanium dioxide, they developed a pigment that coats the tiles, or so-called modules. When pollutants come into contact with the modules, they're turned into compounds like water and carbon dioxide. The design is inspired by natural shapes. Uh, it's kind of similar in appearance to corals. There is a need in the photocatalytic reaction for a maximum surface area. And uh, the natural forms of corals, for example, is very good at doing that. Mexico was the first country to commission the project as part of a $20 billion investment into health infrastructure. City environment officials are impressed. What we have to do as government is develop the public policies that make these kind of bioclimatic designs obligatory and not voluntary. For now, critics may ask what difference one building can make in a city of 23 million people. We won't uh, reduce significantly the levels of pollution for the entire city, but we do it significantly for a localized area where very high levels of pollution meet urban populations, so we're directly protecting people. And this, say the architects, is a model that can be applied to any city around the world. Nick Parker, CNN, Mexico City.